Today, we're gonna get into 10 fun things to do as an adult in Columbus, Ohio. Coming up next. Hi, I'm Erin Moore with the Moore Home Team at Key Realty here in Columbus, Ohio. If you're new to our page, you might not know that we're real estate agents. If you're looking to buy or sell in the Columbus area, we'd be happy to help. Contact us at our information below and we look forward to hearing from you. Now we're going to be talking about 10 fun things to do as an adult in Columbus. And I really tried to think outside of the box. Things that if you've been here for a while or if you're new to Columbus, you might have forgotten about or you might not know are here in town. So come join me, let's get into our list. First on our list is Viral Columbus. Viral Columbus is an interactive art gallery or selfie museum with 19 installations. It's already got two locations here in the Columbus area, one closer to Ohio State's campus and the other one inside of Polaris Mall. I could see this being a really cool place maybe like a date night, a place for a special occasion. I could see a really cool proposal going down at Viral Columbus. And I could also see people that are just wanting to up their selfie game, maybe wanting to take some photos together, maybe wanting to just practice their photography with some really cool backgrounds. So if this sounds like something you'd be into, make sure to check out Viral Columbus at one of their two locations here in town. Number two on our list is the Early Television Museum, which is located in downtown Hilliard. Now, it's got over 150 sets, which makes it the largest collection in the US. And it spans, these TV sets span all different eras. I took my parents here and we all really enjoyed it and couldn't believe how large the collection is. Now, if you're wanting to make it a date night or a date day type of scenario, you can always check out the Crooked Can, which is nearby. It's a brewery. They also have many stalls of food, so you can eat and drink there. The beer is excellent, so go have a great day in Hilliard and check out the Early Television Museum. Number three is Columbus Architectural Salvage. Now, it's really the go-to place when it comes to antiques and artifacts. It's located just off of 71, right by the Ohio State Fairgrounds. This is a really cool place if you're wanting to plan out a project or get something really unique for your home. Last time John and I went, we looked around for what seemed like forever. The place is pretty large. I remember seeing a huge amount of old doors, old windows. It really started to get my brain jogged <laughs> when it came to different ideas for maybe some really cool arts and crafts projects. So check out Columbus Architectural Salvage for a good time when it comes to antiques and artifacts. Number four on our list is Otherworld. Otherworld is a 32,000 square foot immersive art installation, which totals 40 rooms filled with large scale interactive art, mixed reality playgrounds and secret passageways. This is one of those places that when people post online, what should we do when we're coming to visit Columbus? You know, Otherworld seems to be the top thing that they mentioned to do. So make sure to order your tickets before you go online. You can do that on their website. And Otherworld is located just south of Interstate 70 on Bryce Road. If you've been enjoying this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button, stay in the know of everything Columbus, its suburbs and real estate. The fifth thing to do for fun in Columbus as an adult is to check out the Penn and Beach Candle Company. Now you might be thinking that that doesn't sound very familiar, but it's actually the Candle Lab that's renamed all three of their locations. Now you can go and make your own candles there, which is really cool. Now they say it takes 35 to 45 minutes and it takes an additional two hours for those candles to cool. So you can actually make it into a really good date night scenario where you go to the Penn and Beach Candle Company, make your candles, and then go to a nearby restaurant or bar, wait your two hours, and then pick up your candle and head home. The sixth thing on our list is Shadowbox Live. Now Shadowbox Live is America's largest resident theater company and has been around since the 80s. 
And you might be thinking, Aaron, why is this on the list? It's been around for so long. But I feel like Shadowbox Live can sometimes get lost in the mix as Columbus gets bigger, as more places open, more things there are to do around town. And this is one of those true gems. You can go there, every show is really unique. The actors are wonderful, the skits, the music. They actually are servers beforehand, so there is food and drinks, but only up until showtime. It's in the brewery district, great location. There are other restaurants to check out if you don't want to eat there beforehand, but I'd recommend uh, Bandit Pizza next door with pairings by Rock Mill Brewery. So Shadowbox Live, been around forever, but still a really great place as an adult to have fun. Number seven on the list is a little spooky. It's Columbus Ghost Tours. Now their website says you can hear tales of ghouls, ghosts, murder, horror from Columbus's 200 plus year history on a night out unlike any other. And you better believe it. Columbus Ghost Tours is one of those things that's usually pretty popular, especially around the Halloween season. But they actually have tours all around different parts of the year. So check out their website. They have various tours, like I said, so you're going to want to check them out. And definitely, if you love to hear those stories, this is going to be something you're going to have a ton of fun doing. Number eight on the list is one of Columbus's newest attractions. It's called Play Sea Bus. Now this place is massive. It's 53,000 square feet of indoor active entertainment, which includes the world's largest ropes course. It also includes climbing walls and ninja courses, but the part that makes it fun for adults is that every Friday night from 9 p.m. to 12 a.m., it's adults only. With drink specials, with late night snacks, this place is awesome, so much fun, time to leave the kids at home and come out for a little playtime as adults. Number nine on the list will help you keep a little pep in your step, and that's the Columbus Coffee Trail. Now, a lot of us know about the Columbus Brew Trail, but some might not know about the Columbus Coffee Trail. In the Columbus Coffee Trail, most of the coffee shops are located in and around downtown, and it's all digital. So go to their website and you can sign up, like I said, digitally. You can log that all digitally. And then after you go to visit so many of these coffee shops, you receive a t-shirt. And I believe at the very end, after all of them, you'll receive a coffee mug. So it's a great way, if you love coffee, to check out all the different coffee shops Columbus has to offer. Number 10 is for those that want something a little spicier to do. And that's checking out Ivan Kane's 40 Deuce Speakeasy. This is a burlesque nightclub that every Friday and Saturday has shows. Now, I was there right after it opened and with the live band, the burlesque dancers who are super talented, it's a really fun night out for adults. Now, it's located in the newer part of Easton Town Center. So being at Easton, you can eat at Ivan Kane's or you can eat at one of the numerous restaurants there at Easton. They also have several new bars in the area, so it's a really great place to go for a night out. Like I said, burlesque is here in Columbus. So hopefully you've enjoyed this list. Hopefully you found something new to do as an adult here in the Columbus area. If there's something you want to add, we love to hear from you. Put those comments below, and as always, we'll catch you next time.